It's February 2nd, 2022. We've been in the global pandemic now for almost two years. It's finally starting to lift. And I have a major conundrum that I'm trying to deal with. I have got power cords and adapters all over my house for my Apple Watch, my iPhone, my iPad, my drone, my drone battery, power adapters for GoPro batteries, external power packs, light that goes on my mountain bike, my mirrorless camera, the gimbals and everything else. I'm going crazy. I do know that I tend to start projects and not finish them, but this one I have to finish. Every time my kids come over, they're like, Dad, where do we plug in this? Where can I plug this one? And which adapter is this one? And why is this one not here anymore? And what happened to the other one? And why can't I get a longer cord? For it's over. I can't do this anymore. I'm going to go to YouTube University. I'm going to watch a bunch of videos and see what other people have done. And then we're going to come up with something that actually works for me. Hopefully this won't take me a bunch of days, but it might, because I know I'm going to fit and fiddle and try and redo. And it's, I'd much rather be spending time doing fun things like surfing or flying the drone or going out sailing, but I've got to take control of this monster that is now taking over my life. Without further ado, roll the time lapse.
Okay, everybody, so I finally finished my power wall. It only took me, I don't know, maybe four days to do it in between waiting for things to come in from Amazon and the different things that I had to configure. I did kind of a build and then I moved some things around and, you know, it's not perfect, but, you know, as humans, we're not perfect. It does what it needs to do, which is to get all of my cords and adapters and things in pretty much one place that I can just go to and, and charge stuff and see what the status is and grab stuff and go when I need it. So, hey, without further ado, let's take a look at this bad boy. I did a headphone mount here that can put my Bose headphones with their adapter. I put a little thing for the watch that just kind of sets in there. That magnet keeps it in place, so that's kind of cool. I've got this little shelf unit that I got from Target, which allows me to, you know, put my iPad in here, my phone, uh, whatever else in the front. I put a little strip of Gorilla Tape on the bottom to just kind of give it some padding. I've got this little section here, which I can put like one of my smaller mirrorless cameras in. Uh, this section is my GoPro drone stuff. You can see I've got my batteries down below and the cord filed in on that one. And then here is my controller that adapts there. Uh, down below that, I've kind of got my rat's nest of main power supply, the USB hub, and then other adapters that can't just be coming off with the USB. So. And I made these so that they're actually removable. You just pull them off and there's Velcro on the back because if I need to take this and go remote, I can just unplug it and go with all of these. Um, except these, I leave these permanent. I have a little shelf here for all my other kinds of cords that may or may not be used that often. One of my favorite is this little shelf that I kind of found last minute on Amazon, which is really great because as much as I like these baskets, they are just kind of encumbering for getting things in the front. And so I like the openness of this where I can just take this chargeable light that I can just kind of set on the shelf here and it just takes up whatever space it needs and it's easy to kind of grab and go. That's a great battery pack. I should put a link in my description of all the things that I have. I've got my mountain bike uh, Lumina light, my Night Rider light, which is fantastic. I keep that here too. So I've got everything kind of kept in place with these little cord keepers. One thing I will say is make sure that when you put those on with the sticky stuff, anything that you put on with sticky, make sure you wipe it down with, with uh, isopropyl alcohol, otherwise they come unstuck. So I've had, I had to replace a couple of those. But anyway, that's, that's kind of the power wall in a nutshell. So I'm gonna try and put together and calculate out actually how much I spent on the wall. I got stuff at Lowe's, I got stuff off of uh, Amazon, I got some of these racks from Target, uh, but I wanted to you know, give you guys a chance to see how I kind of dealt with the, uh, the issue that we all face, which is how to deal with all the power cords that we have to deal with in our life. And you can see I have a lot of power needs and this is only a fraction of it. I've also got a lot of audio equipment like mics and gimbals for my video production stuff. I have an entire rolling chest in my garage full of stuff and I don't have any of the power uh, stuff set up down there. So that might be a next project. But anyway, so this is it.